I don't know if we can hear Phoebe purring, but... She's purring very loudly. And we've got Murnau in the space bubble. Look at him. He knows he's on camera. Don't you, Murnau? And then we've got Nigel. And we love him so much. Hey, Phoebe. You my sweet girl. Oh, oh. Did you snuzzle on me, sweetie? Yeah, I know. We can't really see all too good in here, but... Phoebe. Are you just content to have me right here by you? I hope so. Oh, we see your peepers. We love Miss Phoebe. She's so pretty. Pretty little kitty. Mm-hmm. I'm really pissed off right now, but I'm too exhausted to really show it. The, uh, the exterminator, we were told, was going to be here today. Like, even, um, apartment management, the, uh, the building manager was even told he was going to be here today. But, there, he's going to be here tomorrow. So, it is now, what time? It is about 20 after 5. And the cats were in their carriers from about 9 a.m. until now. Like, an entire work day, basically. Uh, uh, they spent an eight-hour shift in the carriers for no reason. So I let them out. They were very confused by the whole situation, but they are very grateful to be out. I, on the other hand, am the most exhausted I have ever been from doing nothing. Nothing. I was up until, uh, about 3 a.m., um, doing some picking up, and, I mean, on the good side, um, I am, uh, I don't know, I'm not putting any of the furniture back, and just because my back is not in the mood to be putting the couch back on, back on its legs, and, um, I, it's really hard to think of any good side right now besides maybe being able to pull the TV table out from the wall, oh, which, um, which, uh, which is really suggested, really suggested in this letter from, um, that apartment management set out. It was not listed as necessary, but was listed as uh, highly suggested, um, minimum 18 inches. And uh, the reason I've been unable to do so, <sighs> even though it is a press board TV table that I dumpster dived, <laughs> uh, but it was free. Uh, so yeah, the, uh, the reason I haven't done that before is because there's just a lot of work involved in that. So, uh, I'm, I'm exhausted from doing nothing, and I, I need to figure out if I'm going to eat anything right now, because I really could stand to. I haven't eaten anything with the um, expectation that I would, uh, that I could be leaving at any minute. So, I haven't eaten anything. I've had a couple of Diet Cokes that was really just enough to keep me awake. Honestly. So, I need to go. <sighs> mm. Um, I need to figure out something to eat. 
kitties. Kitties. Uh-oh. Okay. So it looks like sometime either later tonight or tomorrow, we're going to go back out for another chicken snack. Because I have confused the cats. And so, in hopes that they will forgive me, I will bestow upon them chicken snack. Okay, I found the uh, selfie stick, but Crazy Wisdom just called to let me know that uh, an order had come in. It was the weirdest thing when the uh, when the call first came in. It said it was my friend Willow's number, but that's not right. Chicken. Who wants chicken? Nigel Butt, come here. I know you forgive me. I know, I know. I didn't even have to call Confuse a Cat to confuse the cats today. But they get chicken. Oh, yes, they do. Chicken for Phoebe. And for Murnau. And for my Nigel. So, um... Ah, oh, shit. I was gonna say something. I had a thought. Where did it go? Little chicken vacuums. Oh, that's right. That's right. So, uh, so yeah, my, uh, my vacuum. I could have taken that in for diagnosis if I'd left ten minutes ago. Because, uh, the, uh, the belt, the, uh, it's basically a big giant rubber band in the case of mine. Um, they, uh, the belt in, uh, on my vacuum snapped, so could be as little as $15 to repair, but on the off chance that, uh, that it needs a new, um, brush roller, it could be much, much more. Well, probably not too much more, because uh, it sounded like um, he would just, uh, it would just be a matter of finding the part, which would be an extra 35 maybe $45. So... Yeah, it could be as little as $15 to repair my vacuum. Could be as much as, um, what's 15 plus 45? 60. Which, all that said, is still less than a brand new vacuum that can handle cat hair. Sorry, guys, you ate all the chicken. Well, okay, not all of it, all of it. There's still little bits dancing around the floor because Phoebe's a messy eater. She's a messy lady, but that's okay. That's okay. And get, Nigel gets all the rest. Nigel's, Nigel's a little... Nigel's a... Oh, and of course, Phoebe ate so fast she's going to upchuck. Well, time for me to go get paper towels, and I doubt anybody wants to watch that. Did you have Mojave? Uh, so, what this is... Uh, so I, I had actually planned to get a little bit more done out with the cats today, but that was not to be, apparently. So, it is, it is almost for, uh... Um, 
um, um, um, what was he saying? Uh, the, uh, the exterminator got there uh, about quarter to one, so we would uh, like to be back by about 4.30, 4.45, and I, uh, so we, um, we took off shortly after he got there. I had to return some strawberries that were growing fur after about two days to uh, Whole Foods, um, so... And I really wanted to do that before it got too long after the fact, and then, like, I don't know. I, I just didn't want to hassle, so I'm like, okay, it was, like, two days, so I can return the strawberries. And then we could, uh, um, do what? Uh, head downtown. But on my way out, I, uh, I thought, okay, I haven't had much to eat in two days like, I had some chips and guacamole yesterday. That was my that was my lunch after the uh, after the exterminator uh, did not show up yesterday. Like I uh, I grabbed a ramen cup that I can have, and while I was returning strawberries to Whole Foods, I just figured, you know, why don't I just eat here since it makes a lot more sense since. Uh, I can't remember if there's a microwave at Crazy Wisdom, and even if so, it would be upstairs, and they have an elevator there. The elevator is about as old as the building, which is well over a hundred, and so I, uh, I had my lunch at Whole Foods, and so then I got uh, here today, um, downtown. What's going on right now? Well, I ate my I ate my uh, my my ramen cup, and it is now about four. That's right. The 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 dingy bell, the uh, the uh, the the school clock tower, the bell's going off. So it's four, and we're gonna hear the bongs, um, or not. Okay, I guess they don't do that anymore. Um, so. I picked up some mail, I'm probably going to open it when I get back home, uh, but yeah, it's about four now, and the, uh, so yeah, I can, I uh, get to open up the, uh, I get to open up the windows and the door to the balcony in about 45 minutes, so we're pretty much just going to go right back to the bus right now. I was just taking a moment to catch a breather and it occurred to me on my way out, I, oh God, I napped for a good couple hours before the exterminator came. So everybody's schedule is all wonky and everything. So then what happened? I don't know. I don't know. All I know is um, sometime before I left, the building, I took my morning meds. I don't even remember doing that, but apparently I did. And I took my uh, my afternoon, my lunchtime meds at uh, at Whole Foods when I had lunch. So, yeah, we're gonna head back around to the bus stop now. For now. Oh, he's on uh, harness and lead under my shopping cart. And we've got Phoebe on hers. I'm about to, I would like to get Nigel into his, but, uh, Phoebe just made a dash for the, for the stoop. Come here, honey. Let's hook you to my, let's hook you to the keychain. Nigel. Nigel. Nigel, bad. What's up, love? Nigel Bud. I love you. Come here. Turn around every now and then I see my kitty. Nigel. We've got maybe half an hour. Honey. I mean, we can get inside the building, but the other two are right there, clips to the carabiner. Phoebe slipped out of her harness, so she's in the space bubble right now. Meow. Meow. What's up, cutie? 
little me now. Meow, 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 meow. Hey, love. I see you. Me now. Aren't we a sweet boy? Do we want to take a walk through the hallways in the apartment? Now, I thought I would put them on their leads and they would, you know, just like at least have a chance to wander around, see that it can actually be kind of nice. It's okay. Nigel really wants inside, though. He's a, he's a, he's a sweet city boy. Yes. He does not like to wander around in the wilderness. He's a homebody. Aren't you Nigel Butt? My Nigel Butt, Butt, Butt. He's in love with me. Nigel. Who's my sweet homebody boy? Nigel, Nigel. My big black cat. Who's full of joy? Nigel, Nigel. Are you trying to snuggle with Nigel? Yeah, we see Nigel in the back. Way in the back, yep. <laughs> hey, sweetums. Sweet little kitty. Named him now. Meow, 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 meow. Uh oh. What's Nigel watching? Oh. Hey. Kitties. Be in the space bubble. What are we doing? Now? Are we watching birds? Hey, Nigel. We're now was watching birds until I bothered him. The oh. hole. Do we want to go upstairs now? I think we're good to go upstairs. Do we want to go upstairs? You can watch birds from upstairs. Oh, I know. Nice breeze going by. Nice breeze going by. And we can smell the smells. Smelling birds. Hi. Do we want to go upstairs? Yes, we do. Hey, Phoebe. Come on. Oh, Phoebe was closed up in here because she, uh... Her harness isn't very good. I thought I could be cute, get the little novelty harness that looks like a looks like a little hoodie. But uh but no, it doesn't hold on very well. She slipped out of it shortly after we got here and I let them out of the carriers. Or opened up the carriers rather, so Oh, okay. Do we wanna go in? Let's go inside. Kitty cats. Where's Murnau? <laughs> Nigel, are you laying on top of your catnip? I think you are. I came, I brought them in, and I tried to bring them upstairs on their leads, and they were going, especially Phoebe and Murnau, were going every which way but toward the apartment. Nigel, Nigel figured out that we had to go upstairs. I think he miscalculated how many um, stairs exactly, because he tried to... Uh, he tried to, uh, um, um, what's that called? He tried to, uh, find the apartment from the second floor, and we're on the third, so. So, yeah. Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, there we go. Catnip and chicken snacks for kitties. Ah, uh, we don't have the, uh, we don't have the, uh, the, the little chicken fillet and broth right now. I used the last one yesterday. Yeah, I used the last one yesterday uh, giving them treats after stressing them out over what ended up being nothing, but now, uh, now let's see. Okay, so we've got this thing treated in living areas. Okay, do not enter for some, some, something. Uh, if after seven days you are experiencing Continued problems, call your on site manager. Okay, so if I see any more in after about seven days, 
then I can call them. Okay. Gonna go film other things right now. I think I might have forgotten to hit the record button. So, uh, Cass and I are in safe and sound, more or less. The cats are still a little suspicious, uh, <laughs> probably because of yesterday. So I got this, uh, I got this big, uh, package gift from, uh, my friend Renee, and I thank her very much. And, uh, she did say that she does she didn't necessarily want, you know, any kind of video or, um, you know, accolades, or at least, you know, I mean, nothing in a video, it doesn't need to be in a video, my things doesn't need to be in a video, but I figured, why not, since she said there, there was going to be a, uh, a couple of small brands. Hello, Murnau, do you forgive me? Do you forgive me for causing, for disrupting your routine of, little butt, cat butt, please move, move, move your butt, yes. So, let's see, this is, uh, uh, Parfum Noir, uh, uh, Eau de Parfum, uh, Calypso's Lure, which is amber-based, and the website is www.parfume-noire.com, and... The, uh, the labels don't seem to have the best printing on them, but let's, let's still take a, take a little whiff of these, right? Okay, so we've got, uh, Calypso Zure, which is amber-based, it looks like, and, oh, this is a much better, uh, label printing, uh, Parfume Noir, uh, Nereti's Gift, which is Patchouli Eau de Parfum. And, uh, hmm, that's, uh, that's not quite as strong as, it's not quite as strong as I'm used to most patchoulis being, but I like it, I do like it, and, uh, we've got an amber, oh, this is nice. This is a little stronger than I'm used to Amber Scents being, but, again, it's really nice. Um, and that is in here. So, oh, oh my gosh, is this, is this, oh, this is the calendar. So, letters a little bit... Oh, we've got two of them. We've got two of them. I hope that... Okay, so... Looks like... One each from... Okay, so 2018 and 2019. Um, so, I don't... <laughs> obviously, I don't necessarily need the 2018 one right now because... But we've got some beautiful uh, photographs in here. So, this would be... Uh, Sophie Lancaster herself, uh, November 26, 1989 to August 24th, 2007. Uh, the story, on uh, the 11th of August, 2007, Sophie Lancaster and her partner were attacked by a gang of teenagers in a park in Lancashire. Instead of fleeing, Sophie went to her partner's aid. The couples were kicked, stamped on, and left unconscious for nothing more than looking different. Uh, Sophie later died from her injuries. If anything positive is to come of her death, Sophie's family and friends would like it to be you. Uh, so, Goths for Sophie. Uh, uh, Twelve Gothic folk from all around the world have united to form allegiance to raise money for the Sophie Lancaster Foundation. 2017 marks the tenth year of Sophie's passing. This project is to celebrate Goths from all walks of life, all nationalities, as they are for who they are. It's about the importance of staying true to yourself and to share the message that it's okay to be goth at any age, any nationality, any gender, and to express your style and uniqueness without prejudice or discrimination. Uh, it's an identity and culture like any other. Goths for Sophie is a collaboration formed purely online by people who have a message about what it means to be goth, 
and the true essence of community spirit. We pride ourselves on ethical messages that can hopefully nurture future generations on what it means to be goth. It's not about fame, clothes, or the image. Goth is for life. We believe in this wholeheartedly. In purchasing this calendar, we all thank you so much for helping us support the Sophie Lancaster Foundation and their work in hate crime prevention and awareness for future generations, not just in the UK, but around the world. 100% of the profits raised will be donated to the Sophie Lancaster Foundation. Uh, 2017 Ambassadors, our diversity is what makes us whole. All of these people have given their time, resources, and hearts to making this project a reality. As hard-working ambassadors, our goal is to promote and create awareness for this very cause. All of these amazing people have not been paid or received any monies in regard to the promotion of this project. It's, a, it's for love, not money production. And... Um, we've got Angela Benedict, uh, Collegio Bastet, who hasn't uploaded in a while, at least not like his usual videos. Uh, uh, Carol Ann Scott, a.k.a. Dahlia Drastic from Scotland. Um, uh, Jenna Lee, a.k.a. Batty Bazaar from New Zealand. Uh, Chris Poison and Blake Blood from Australia. Lee Meadows, a.k.a. DJ Cruel Britannia from the UK, uh, Paul Myers, a.k.a. Kai Decadence, USA, Riri Phillips of Australia, uh, Renee G, a.k.a. The Green Widow, Australia, Sheena Mc McDonough, a.k.a. Wild Witch, UK, Trevor Parker, a.k.a. The Kilted Goth of the UK, uh, Yorgos Pantelion Y from Remain in Life of Greece, and... Oh, this is a this is a beautiful uh, picture of the kilted goth. Now let me see if turning off the uh, the light. Would... Okay, there we go. It's a little bit dimmer, but this is a beautiful picture of him. That's really nice. Oh, and he always looks nice. I don't think he's ever taken a bad photo. <laughs> I really don't. Oh. Uh... Riri, all, Riri has this way of just looking, I mean, I, yeah, I wouldn't say she is the most, you know, beautiful person in the world, but she just has this way of, you know, in photos at, especially, where she just, it, it's, a, it's a very wholesome kind of beauty. I don't know what it is. She's got a very elfin sort of face, I'd say. She just, she's, she's, she's pretty in this very wholesome kind of way, and I don't mean anything bad by that, honestly. I just, I, I, that's just how she looks to me. She looks very, very wholesome, and this is a beautiful picture as well. And... And... I would say, uh, I need to, uh, I've, I I've definitely remember, uh, the name DJ Cruel Britannia. Oh, gosh, I can't remember. Was he, was he, uh, at any of the clubs in the, uh, 90s when I was living with my sister and brother-in-law? And, uh, this would be, uh, Batty Bazaar. And, uh... Dahlia Drastic. Uh, I haven't seen any uploads from her in a while, either. She's got a very cute face, like, like Susie without her makeup. <laughs> Even though she is wearing makeup in this one. Oh, and there's Wild Witch. I'd know that face anywhere. She's my birthday twin. <laughs> uh, and Kai Decadence. Oh, there's Angela. That is... Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. That's an old begotten dress. <laughs> and... Uh, and we've got Y from Remain in Light. He's not so bad looking, either. And... Renee. Uh, and... I know a lot of people have uploaded the 2019 one um, from uh, 
um, earlier this year. But let's just take a look through it. I don't know. I'm kind of... Um, <laughs> I've been kind of uh, ugh, mentally kind of stuck, and I'm like, eh, I'll just keep filming. So, let's see. Anything... Okay, so this looks like... Okay, the same thing in the story... Um... Mm -mm. Okay, uh, uh, 12 Gothic ambassadors from all around the world have united, uh, so I'm reading the, uh, the center one here. Uh, uh, from, we created the first calendar in 2017 to mark the 10th year of Sophie's passing, and, and this year in 2018, uh, we are continuing the project as promised with the 2019 calendar. And it looks like the rest of it continues as the same from... Uh, the 2018 calendar, uh, our diversity is what makes us whole under 2018 ambassadors. Uh, all of these people have given their time, resources, and hearts, and, uh, and it looks like we do need an editor <laughs> on the text box here. It's A for love, not money production. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, I've been, I've been reading a couple of books lately that do need <laughs> a, uh, that do need a proofreader. <laughs> or did need a proofreader before going, you know, to print, but... So I'm just kind of hyper-aware of really odd-looking grammar. So, in this calendar, it looks like, again, we're doing, um... Um, 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 what's that called? Alphabetical. Uh, we've got, uh, Adrian Gomez, a.k.a. Lygia Resurrected, from the USA. Uh, uh... Edora Os... Osimiri Lewis, uh, USA slash Nigeria. Uh, can't remember if where she lives most of the year, if the whole year. I don't remember if she's emigrated officially or not. Uh, Black Heron Gallery, USA. Kind of Zymox from Germany. Uh, Hannah Goretti from Australia. Icon from Australia. Uh, Joe Tobin, aka ATAC from. Also heard people say it ITAC. I. It looks like ATAC to me. Uh, from Australia, uh, Monica Richards uh, from USA, Nina Mission from Slovenia, Tash Komori uh, from Australia, uh, Virgin in Veil vale of Finland, and Yami Speci of uh, Lima, Peru. Uh, so here we've got um, Virgin in Veil vale of Finland. Uh, oh, oh, I could have just looked. That's Joe. <laughs> All are banished. Or, wait, no. Uh, turn in your goth card. Uh, so we've got, uh, Tash here. Ah, uh, that's a lovely photo. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, Adora uh, Asamiri Lewis. She's just got this very striking face, I, f I feel. She's just got this... Gorgeous, striking face. Uh, Nina Mission of Slovenia. Uh, Hannah Goretti of... Oh, Tasmania. And funny, uh, funny, uh, funny, fun fact about Tasmania. It's technically not part of the Australian continent. It's part of the New Zealand continent. But uh, politically, it's regarded as a part of Australia. So <laughs> uh, look up New Zealand continent. It is, it is fascinating. Uh, Yami Spichi of Lima, Peru. Oh, oh wow. I haven't seen pictures of Monica for some time, and, uh, oh god, I last saw Faith in the Mew. Oh shit, that's been forever and a day, hasn't it? She's just, she's just gorgeous. She's, she, her face is just so ageless. I think she's a fairy. <laughs> Nature is music for the soul. <laughs> well, okay. Uh, oh, and here we've got Adrienne. For some reason, I thought it was a different picture in this calendar. And, 
Ronnie Moorings and Moja Zugna. I, I'm hoping that's correct. Uh, Clan of Zymox. Let's see. Oh, and we've got Icon, the band, I K O N, of course, and for December, Black Heroin Gallery, USA. Great. He looks familiar. I think I knew him when I was living in Los Angeles. I'm gonna have to look up this. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look up this band. I. Oh gosh. Ah. Uh, oh wait, wait, wait. I'm pretty sure I knew him as well. Okay, I... <laughs> this is getting a little awkward. So, I think this can go up in my kitchen. Not, or not that I necessarily need one in the kitchen, but it's nice to have uh, one in the bedroom, one in the kitchen, and of course my, uh, my date book, which is in that bag, which is still in the shopping cart, because I, I just... I'm surprised I was able to put the couch back on its feet. Oh, and we've got a bunch of CDs that I was promised. Oh my gosh. Oh, and we've got a couple Faith and the Muse buttons that I have not made. Uh, uh, mm, 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 mm. And they're out of jewel cases. And... <laughs> Some of these are pirated. <laughs> oh, I think I've got this one. That's all right. Turns out I do have it. I can always pass it around. It's always good to pass along music that you enjoy and think other people will as well. That is, uh, oh gosh. I've, uh, uh, I'm kicking myself for having ditched all of my mixtapes that I made in, um, in high school because. <laughs> I was just on a tear. Uh, I can't remember if it was moving back to Ipsy or moving from uh, Lois's old place into this place. But I just went on a tear and just like ditched all of my old tapes because I'm just like, yeah, my uh, the uh, the tape deck on my stereo, like only the one side works. Granted, it's the side that records, but um, but I'm like, yeah. What do I need tapes for? Most of these I've already got on CD or something, something, something. And now I'm thinking to myself, oh, God damn it. I, um, it would have at least been nice to, um, to, to, uh, to, um, to save them onto my computer or something or, I don't know, tapes seem to be making a comeback for some ungodly reason. So I could. I might have been able to get a couple of bucks off of each of them. Right, Kitty? All right. You forgive me. You forgive me for the big, confusing day. I love you. Okay. <laughs> Did you kick me? Yes, just a little bit. Okay, so... Um, again, uh, thanks so much to Renee. And if you find yourself in need of a calendar for 2019, uh, there should uh, be some uh, through, uh, at the very least, through uh, the, there should be, um, at the very least, through uh, necromancy.com.au. I don't know how, um, how much longer they're going to be having any in stock, but it is definitely worth checking out. Like I said, I'm going to put up the 2019 one in my kitchen so that I can uh, um, uh, jot down notes a third time. So, uh, ah, and I am expecting a, uh, a Postmates delivery because um, DeFranco Elite, or whatever, no, not the DeFranco Elite, the, the, um, the Philly D coupon code that he talks about at the end of every, um, episode, and I figured, you know what, if it means I can have dumplings without going back outside, and I can nap shortly after without having to worry about getting back on the bus in time, that would be nice. So, um, 
I can, so yeah, like, free delivery, and it's like, I can just barely justify getting dumplings, but that's okay. So, I need to go wash my hands before dumpling arrives, but anyway, bats and kisses, and the kitties should be doing fine, and, um, uh, take care of yourselves, uh, slan. Uh, so we've got from, uh, so from, uh, Yisheng Dumplings on Washina. Oh, I gotta go get my own chopsticks. Okay. We've got the, uh, the Fish and Chive Dumplings, um, because it is still Lent for another week, and no red meat on Wednesdays or Fridays, because my father was not, in some ways he was not the biggest fan of Vatican II, but, um, oh my gosh, and I was, uh, was told by our, uh, our delivery Postmates guy that, uh, that this was going to be the plain rice, because the, uh, the Postmates menu for Yisheng had somehow messed up, and the, uh, and I guess it was the, uh, I guess it was supposed to be plain rice at the price that was listed, but they gave me veggie fried rice instead. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. And I got my fish and chive dumplings, which I love so much. And I almost forgot. So this here, this is the best goddamn sauce for dumplings. I, uh, so I can't use the soy sauce or the soy sauce based stuff that they usually do, but this, this, oh my gosh, I only find it at, uh, at Yisheng Dumplings, and it is, it is some kind of chili pepper based, um, oil. It's just, like, some kind of, like, sesame oil with, like, chili peppers and stuff in it, and it is seriously the best, yummiest stuff. And yes, there's all of those pepper seeds, it is very spicy, and I love it.